All right, so hello and welcome. Uh, this is an art review. Uh, I post these on videos for people to watch. I post these on videos. Good fucking job. Didn't even take five minutes. Anyway, so I post this on YouTube so that other people can potentially benefit from it. I don't know. Um, this is a segment where I do art critiques. You can request an art critique in my Discord or on my Twitch, and I'll do a critique for you. I've got two lovely pieces of artwork. One is a much older piece of artwork that was asked for review, and another one is uh, much more recent. It was actually... Uh, it was actually uh, yesterday. Uh, once again, uh, the ever wonderful Leah Eislein shared this with me, and I figured I would take a crack at uh, at looking at this beautiful artwork, and also being as ruthless as I can possibly be. And uh, no, being nice and patient and those things. Well, let's get into the art review. Um, okay, so we're gonna go with draw. Okay, so beautiful, absolutely beautiful cat. Except, <laughs> um, what happened here? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna notice my 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 points. Okay, what happened here? What happened here? Oh, nice little fluffy cheeks. Got some fluffer cheeks. Oh, what happened here? Uh? Uh, uh? Um. What happened here? What is this? Uh, what happened here? Okay, 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 okay. So I got I got some I got some points to go over. I got I got some points to go over. Okay. Uh so let's see. Edit. We'll go with edit, right? No. Okay. I forget how to do this. How do I fucking do this? Do they change their program? I feel like they change their programs. You know what? <laughs> uh, not what I wanted. Please don't do shit. It did. <laughs> <laughs> this is going well. <laughs> okay. So we're, I'll have to change that later. I would, that is not my typical background. Eh, it's an opportunity to change it to something else. So we got this little, uh, this, this, it's a combination error is what it is. So you have a cranium that's coming down and going around like that. Okay. This is supposed to be like this. And I can see the struggle here because these come up like shoots, right? They come up like shoots and then they go into the triangle and that's, you drew them like bunny ears. You drew, you drew them like bunny ears on, on a, on a bunny ear girl. And on a cat. That's actually not how they're drawn. It doesn't stem from the head. It shoots off from the head. So a stem is like, is like that, right? And you can get some like really fancy, uh, bunny ears from that, you know, 
little little sketch there. I'm not doing too well. But you can get some good bunny ears like that. Problem is, is that that's not how cat ears work. Cat ears, you start with the dome and you shoot off from the dome. Okay. Much like horns, you shoot off from the dome. Uh, so if we take a, if we take a look at, at, at the cat, right? So you've got the dome. This is, this is, this is, if we, if we compare these two, right? We compare these two. Okay. You have a much larger dome. You see how this dome comes down and goes about. Okay. But the ears, the ears shoot off from the head from a, from an angle. That's what I'm talking about is you have that, but you have it at the wrong spot. So it, it comes off as it's being offshoot. So you have your, you have what's a dome, what should be a dome. And I see what happened because the perspective should be like this. I kind of get where you were going with, but let's look at a side cat. You see how it's, it's a, it's a straight dome. And then the curves at the nose, you have a curved dome all the way to the nose. It's all the way down to the nose. There's, it should be curved up till here and then it should turn into a nose. This is, this is the, this is why it's connected is because these ears, which come off from the head of the cat, there's, there's a little bit of a curve to it and you did fantastically on this side of the head although it should have been moved a little bit forward because the perspective sh should you 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 have the cat here so the perspective should actually be here your your uh your it should be moved that way it should be moved that way um, mind you, the, 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 the actual lines are pretty freaking good. Uh, but this connector part should actually be moved down a little bit because these two are always across from each other and you can actually draw a, uh, I think it's called a trapezoid. The, uh, trapezoid or rhombus. I always get those two mixed. Um, but it's like a, it's like a square. You can always draw a, a rhombus between the between the four points. This is what, rhombus. I'm saying the right word, right? Rhombus. Ah, it's close enough. It's close enough. Mmm, geometric shapes. Sorry, I'm about to go down to that rabbit hole. Geometric shape. Am I thinking of a trapezoid? I am thinking of a trapezoid. Son of a bitch. Anyway, so yeah, you can draw a trapezoid between those points. Whereas if I were to try and do that on your drawing. So we draw here, draw here. It's a perfect square. It's not a trapezoid. If let's clean up the lines because they're starting to pile up. If I were to, so in reality, here's how I think your ears should go. Your, this ear should actually come up here and this ear, ear should be there. And then you should have a curve and then, uh, you know what? I have to go even further back. Let's just start over. Okay. So, Based on this point, I would draw a curve. I would make that curve like this. 
and then I would draw another curve and this ear would be bigger due to the due to the perspective shift right due to the perspective shift this one would be further away while this one would be closer so this would be slightly larger than this one and then if I were to draw my shapes as you can see it is a fucking trapezoid <laughs> so so that's what I noticed there and then this one this one what I noticed here is the snoot of the boot um Leah Eyeslight please take some lighting classes um your lighting is very good it's this is an incredible drawing but I've mentioned this in two previous art critiques your lighting is better but it's off sorry I had to shove tea leaves down my throat anyway um so with a cat you go like this and it comes out like this okay now due to the perspective shift now you could just blame it on fur you could actually just blame it on fur but it looks like this cat has a very even coating of white and black hair and for him to have a concentration of black hair given his overall pattern it's actually kind of rare so the black the black would be a focused point oh we're actually off with the nose we're actually we're actually slightly off with the nose too but that's not the point here um and they don't actually have this shape believe it or not uh cats have a rather flat nose no go back cats have a rather flat uh flat nose right here so in reality you'd come up over here and go down and then come over here not not the crescent leaf yeah that looks like a crescent leaf oh it looks like a little heart so yeah this this line going here Im implies that the cat would have a flat top it implies that it would have a flat top so it'd be like this and it'd be like this and this is all caused by your shading and not necessarily your uh well i mean it just shading is drawing but potato potato but if you actually look at a cat they're they're kind of straight it's kind of a straight ordeal up until the nose and then they get a bump it's it's not even a big bump it's a it's a very slight bump it's kind of like a snout more than anything uh you can tell on this one that there's a slight bump due to the fur but uh there's only a slight bump on the nose itself otherwise it falls flush with the face for the most part we look at this falls flush with the face uh, yeah yeah so it's 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 a little it's the perspective shift is a little off okay so i'm a vape press a uh, control z okay why is that a box oh uh, no I'm a, I, it's a serious question why is that a box 
it's 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 a it's a box there's a little bit of plump there's a little bit of plump oh wait no there's a lot less plump <laughs> you see that let's go here round okay let's try and find another perspective uh round with a, 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 a the ass is flat but we don't get to look at the ass from this angle let's try and find a cat of that angle let's do some searching some soul searching so i can destroy another piece of art because i'm a horrible human being there we go um yeah so it is it is slightly curved there is no box shape there is no very uh very pointy shape because if you actually look at underneath all of what i drew Okay, you'll notice that it's you could kill somebody with that. Um, but I just wanted to point that out to you. It became very evident to me. So, uh, the last point I think I want to make is this toe. Now, if we look at where he is pointed, his eyes are pointed up. These are pointed this way. The shoulders. Oh yeah, I wanted to talk about the shoulders. The basically the shoulders are not aligned. Uh and honestly, that would be fixed by just like adding a little bit more uh uh like definition here by by going with a different black. Because black is never truly black in art. Just like black is never truly black in life. Um, and that's that really you just need a little bit more definition here um although i do like the fact that it looks like he has chicken bones for uh legs um there is no uh i think this was a an unintended mistake there's no definition separating his arm from his belly um even if we saw the chest we would still see a little bit of the belly because uh, kitty cats have uh, a lot of fur. And so let's try and find a cat that is standing up. Or rather sitting. If you notice here, there's still definition. But even though it's all basically one color, even with the shadow, you can see the little fur right there. You can see the little fur. And then the foot, right? So let's 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 ignore that and say that uh, here are the shoulders, and then here is the bum. Uh, 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 that is all. That's that's uh that's a little crooked. It's a, it's a little crooked from the line that it needs to be. It's a, it's a, it's a little crooked. <laughs> so, uh, it, this one is more about perspective and shading. Um, so from this perspective, we would actually see the front claws and the problem that arises is because I think you tried to do that. I think you tried to do that, but the kitty cat has a very flat foot, right? Basically, they have rubber pads underneath their feet and and then they come to uh, basically a shoe covering and you kind of did that but you also kind of didn't like you wanted to show the foot but it would have been like barely visible compared to what you think it should have been i think there was a slight disconnect between what you wanted 
to portray and what actually came out because basically the the kitty cat's foot would have been like this and that's basically the shape of what the kitty cat would have uh, uh would have had and you know there th this would have been done by shading and not exactly an outline but i wanted to if you if you notice it's because you're because of these guys right here and that's why i'm thinking that it's more of a you wanted to show more of the foot than what you were really given it seemed unsatisfactory at the time but honestly you have an amazing drawing here you have an, a, an amazing drawing here oh i do actually have one final point so let's see if we can't find no this is perfect this is perfect so you knew that it would need support which is why you drew that why you drew that however you drew this really thin and you 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 covered it up with fur but on an actual cat it would go like that because it has to have support for the flap so it has to it's kind of like um it's kind of like a chair backing uh y it needs the wooden supports on either side to hold the wood up in this case it needs the cartilage on either side in order to support the uh fleshy skin that does all the sound capturing and it does look like you did do a good job over here but it does look like the support is missing here and the width of a cat's ears is so that it can capture more sound so i actually would have probably drawn this one a little wider about like that much wider and this one I probably would have drawn like this much wider. And that's because that's just trying to get it as realistic as possible. Because I noticed that that's what you're trying to do with most of your drawings. You're trying to make it as realistic as possible. And so you, you got to realize that the width of a, an ear is highly important to a living creature's survival rate the reason why elephants can hear such a large range of sound is because they have like some of the biggest ear flaps in the world that just capture all that noise and they and they have to do that because their predators are basically cats that are designed to find something and eat something and the reason why a cat's ear is usually smaller than a uh, say an elephant is because a cat is a meat eater not a bug eater or a plant eater so it only needs to hear the the animals that will sustain it anything else is is not in its purview it doesn't care about it so that's why elephants who are much more uh versatile in their diet be, being uh herbivores and um and needing to detect very quiet moving creatures such as cats have massive ears whereas the cats have slightly smaller but decently large ears 
humans actually have uh, very small ears. And that's because we only need to know what's within a certain range of us. Uh, that's our biological evolution. Because we have arms that we can swing and because we're primarily tool makers and we hang out in small spaces and we try to deal with confinement. Um, we try to trap our, our opponents, our enemies, our food into smaller areas. We need to pick up on the frequencies in a smaller zone than what a cat would do as they look at the meat that they need to hunt, like... Uh, three... Maybe three, four hundred feet in front of them? They need to hear them because their eyes are not nearly as developed as a human. So, that's my opinion on that. Now, we do have... A uh, second drawing here. No, so cute. Honestly, I love it. It's adorable. It's so cute. So cute. Uh, but, uh, there's, so there's, uh, two things that I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about the big heavier one first, because most of this drawing is okay. Um, the biggest thing that I want to talk about here is actually the ear and the paw, the, the mouth and then even the nose is actually done pretty well. Uh, the reason why I wanted to point out the ear is because the ear is like a massive ball of fur more than an ear. So, I did the wrong thing. I did it again. By the way, I don't edit my videos to make my look um self look better. Uh because I want people to realize everybody make, makes mistakes. I'm I'm ADHD and even an art cr critiquer is not perfect. I just do it because I want to see the art grow because I think it's fantastic. I'm just noticing sometimes it's better to have more than one eye. So I leave my videos open for critiques by leaving my own mistakes in there. So don't, don't ever, please don't ever mis, misjudge my intentions with these art critiques. Um, so the nose is actually pretty good. The nose, uh, the nose comes down pretty nice, comes out pretty nice, comes out. It even has a little, little bump at the end. Perfectly fine. Something that, uh, cropped up in your previous drawing. And it's got the chrome and it's got a pretty good decent from the back of the head. Fantastic. Except that you put your, uh, other ear, um, uh, much, much further back than it, it should have been. Uh, eh, even though the other endpoints are almost the same, you, you did put this one back a little bit. And I think, I think that might have been artist intention. Maybe have a floppy ear, you know, have a have an ear because this is more of a cute pose and so maybe the ear was uh, like supposed to like be a little bit more floppy but with cat ears even though they're floppy they don't change position uh, unlike dog ears which can change position depending on what they're doing 
So I just wanted to point out the position and then, like I said with the previous drawing, there should be a support structure. Um, you have some of it hidden over here. And if it's hidden over here, it would be hidden over here. Uh, because that's they're they're symmetrically designed so that they have I mean there's a reason why our ears look the same on both uh, both sides it, it combines the frequency range when it gets to the brain so it translates it into a mono signal but it also keeps it stereo so it can it, it, it tells position like is it top right is it top bottom is it top middle is it right is it left is it center is it behind um so whatever you do to this ear should have been done to this air ear and it should it should be moved over a little bit um and like i said it it doesn't have any support even though it's it, it looks like a giant fluff ball it honestly does um this darkness in here i think you were trying to cover up the cap uh, cover it up with the cat fur but uh the reason why cats so cats have a little bit of fur protecting it and that's i actually don't know why that is they do have a little bit of fur but i don't know why but it's always on this side. It's always on this side. It's always over here. So you should have been able to see like the fleshy bit on the edge. Even at this angle, you'd see the fleshy bit. So you should have like in between these lines, there should be a fleshy bit. And then uh, this paw. This paw and this random bit of fluff that does not fit the rest of the drawing. But I believe that was intentional. But the paw. Oh, it, I could, I could tell that you did fantastic on the top end, but you had a hard time doing the paw. Come on, go up, cat paw. So, according to this, so this would always be in the center. So, you need more definition to have your, to have your, your cat arm like that. And, and this would actually be like a lot skinnier. This would be a lot skinnier. Because cat arms are very, even though they're fluffy, they're skinny. So, like, go down here. If you notice, it's, it's not that big. It's really not that big. Skinny, skinny, skinny. Even on fat cats, it's, it's really skinny. And that's... That's to do with... Um, they're trying to... The, the biological reasoning for that is... The cats are used to hunting in grasslands, in field lands, and having big limbs would cause, cause them to be slower. They fast and lean is basically the cat motto. So even though their, their belly region, um, uh, their belly region can get fat, even a fat cat will have like, I think this one is, yeah, this is a big old cat. Even a fat cat will have a skinny arm. And that's because that's how they support themselves. Like, the the cat muscles on the arm are, like, the strongest freaking muscles in their entire body. So even a cat that's fat will have skinny arms. Even if it's a big old fluffer. Uh, but the this point here should actually be moved over to the left it should be like 
just a smidgen to the left just a smidgen and then this paw so you tried to draw it at a front angle you wanted you wanted uh like a like a bend in the hand and i see that you tried to draw a nail there if you notice on here the nails actually go in between the paw the 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 paw that actually is what causes those little separations that you see here so really most of this is okay it's just slightly positioned wrong for instance this paw this uh this paw i don't know what they're called should be like this it should it should be turned ever so slightly to this way and this one should be like this and then this one should be like this and then this one should be like this and then this one should have like a vertical change of like this and it should be cut off about here instead of down there and that would have given you your paw and then you could have uh it's actually a circular so a cat paw is circular it's circular there is a little bit of bump but there's nothing as pronounced as as a human finger that would be more akin to a human finger than a paw so it, it would have been a it would have been like this would have probably cut off here and this would have probably cut off there and this would have been a little bit more rounder and then on the underside of the paw right it would basically be like this i screwed up there ignore that ignore that i basically should have ended it right, like right here so it would have been like that and then you would have come in here and add your paw like this right this would have been like the the appropriate dimensions of the paw that that would have been a lot better but it's more about the perspective of the of the pads than anything else like everything else is a minor is a minor issue it's like yeah it could have been a little bit more but you know the 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 primary part is this big old big old pad here and the fact that you do not have a separation underneath so on top of it is fur, but underneath is like matted fur. It's actually a different color most of the time than the top of the fur. It's got a little bit more grime in it. It's got a little bit more dirt in it because that that's what makes contact with the ground. And then uh, a jungle cat would have would have much a much darker paw because it's calloused whereas uh whereas as you saw with uh, a house cat it's a lot pinker because they're in softer environments this is a pink yet slightly calloused cat paw which it's calloused at the edges and not in the center which suggests that it, it it's it's more of an infection than 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 like a comment on their daily lives so it's it's slightly perspectively wrong and as you can see the 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 color is is off this should have been a slightly darker color than this or this so it's perspective off geometry off a little bit and mostly it's it's just color off that's what i'm getting from that section i don't think i have anything else to uh
cover, you did a fantastic job on the eyes. I didn't have any comment about the eyes uh, on either drawing. Good job on the eyes. Good job on the fur. I'm really impressed with the fur. Uh, thank you, Leah Isolite, for giving me the opportunity to look at these drawings and let you know my opinion. And to everyone else, please, if you're an artist or you want to be an artist, shoot for the stars. We didn't build a rocket on day one. Love you all. See you later.